Hey guys, I am back with another Sims 4 Cats and Dogs reaction trailer. So just a little bit ago, they released another trailer. This one is geared towards the vet career that's going to come with the expansion pack that's coming out on November 10th. I'm so excited. I really can't get any more excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's a little bit darker. Uh, it's actually a very, very rainy day and I don't have proper lights set up and I just wanted to watch this trailer already. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Sims 4 cats and dogs become a vet okay. build and run your very own clinic, Oh my gosh and strive to keep <gasps> Oh look at the little glowing nose Oh that vet clinic Welcome looks to the so pretty cool. paw paw clinic <gasps> Oh uh -oh. Hi. So, so Oh man the There's like right like goo way, just coming out of her mouth At the exam table Oh look at the little decal oh look the all the little stuff the on the treatment Oh uh, poor little guy Ooh. Keep them calm Ooh. to ensure a proper exam. Those like fly Mouth slash moms, fleas. Oh. oh, that's uncontrollable stinky drooling fur. and stinky fur. Okay. Diagnosis: mild repugnitis. Okay, awesome, awesome. I like the stuff on the walls. <laughs> oh, he's good as new. Over time, your vet skill will improve. Aww, look You'll at the chart on the wall. New abilities, objects, and a healthier business. Oh, the fish tank. Waiting room empty. Advertising is oh, okay, you can advertise. Woof, it's getting crowded in here. Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. On your star Ooh, we got star ratings. Ambiance, bedside manner, okay, so this is like, levels, they're gonna have like Yelp reviews kind of, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's cool. See, this, this, this one gave them only a star and a half. Ooh. One and a half stars? Yeah, that's Add not more good. exam tables to reduce wait time. Oh, cool! Oh, that looks so good! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! As an owner, it's critical to keep Ooh, your team he's gonna get yelled at. Oh, you can get him, girl! Please, praise them, critique their oh, performance, the and so even cute. promote them. Oh With proper training, your team can create medicine and special treats, making surgeries. Oh, you can make special easier. treats and medicine. The surgery station, okay, this is the surgery station. Quickly diagnose and even cure afflictions. Oh, fleas, fleas, glow nose. I see no, fur. Bucky here is in okay, so you can spay and neuter the pets. This surgery. is what's happening right Field. now. Snip, snip. <laughs> Walk it off. Look at the cone. <laughs> In the Sims 4 cats and dogs. Oh my gosh. And run a vet <gasps> Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. <gasps> oh. So this bit's a little bit fuzzy, but I really just, I just, this is so cool. So in the first one, she obviously has like a little burger toy and she's just like trying to get the dog's attention or something. That dog though is so cute, guys, that dog. And then the glow nose dog, oh my gosh, I think that's such a cute, that's such a cute disease. <laughs> that's such a bad thing to say, but it's such a cute disease, it's a little Rudolph. Uh, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was really terrified for this trailer because in the original launch trailer, or the, you know, the very, very first trailer that they, they showed us, there was a little storyline where the dog got sick, went to the vet, and then, you know, passed away. And it was just so sad, and I was like, oh gosh, this better not be sad. But this, so far, has been really awesome. Uh, down in the bottom here, you can see a few different dogs with their owners. And I love the picture. I like the posters and the stuff that you can put on the walls in the vet clinic. I think that is just so cool. So obviously this is a vet clinic. I don't know if it's going to be, a, it might be a pre-existing vet clinic. You can obviously build your own, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but I wanted to show it because I think this, I would assume this is Brindleton Bay or a part of Brindleton Bay. I'm loving it. I love the little, the hedges. I guess we can call them hedges, the shrubbery. You can see down in the corner by the mailbox, there's a poodle one, and I think that might be a rabbit one, but I could be mistaken. It's probably a cat. It looks a lot like a rabbit for some reason, but I'm assuming it's a cat. Uh, and I just, I just love the look of this vet clinic. I like the little bits and pieces you can put on the outside, aka the signs. I think they look so fantastic. And I love the little, the kid playing with the dog in the front yard. I think that's, or in the front yard, in the, in the front. It's so awesome. Here is a shot of this poor, poor cat. The poor, poor cat. This isn't, isn't a good angle. I'll show you a better look at the poor, poor cat in a little bit. But this is this will be the exam table. It's nice and flat on the ground, so it will rise up so your pet can get on it without any problems, which I don't know what pets these guys are talking about because my pets, I have to drag them and lift them onto that table because they want nothing to do with it. So the fact that that cat willingly goes onto that table, 
Anyway, I really, really am loving the posters on the wall. Again, all that stuff. We got the x-ray thing. I love that. I love the little cat thing on this side. It shows like a diagram of the cat and then inside there's like a little mouse in its stomach. I love that. I just, I overall love everything. It's total, total, the, cu the, the cupboards and the counters, total doctor's office vibes for me. Like when I was waiting in the doctor's office, that's what I see. I love it. So I also love the flooring. I love, I love her shoes. We've we've gone over the shoes before, like in the last trailer. I think I don't know. I think we saw all those shoes before. But I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. This is literally me at the vet. <laughs> that that face right there. That is me. I'm always so like cringy. I'm so nervous. But it's like, oh no, oh poor kitty. Ah. So that's that's a. I thought a good shot of the cat. So you have the bugs. They did call it something. I don't remember. They have different names for different diseases and all that stuff. So they did call that something. Uh, she has excessive drooling and those bugs, and it's just not a fun time. But you can get a closer look at that poster that I really, really liked with the little mouse in the stomach from here. But I, I really, really am just, I'm just loving this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. <laughs> I can't say it enough. So here the vet has treated our lovely infested feline <laughs> with, I think they said it was parasite spray. So she should be back to normal. And as I was looking at this, I see there's like a little tray in the background by that mouse sticker on the wall. And it's a little syringe, like a shot. It looks like a shot. It's really cool. I love that kind of detail. I also love the jars, which we saw in the previous screenshot. I didn't really mention, but it probably, I would assume, has like cotton swabs and, and, and oh, what are those, uh, the popsicle sticks and stuff like that inside. You know, classic, classic office stuff. So let's take a moment and look at this. I'm so excited. <laughs> just seeing all the different breeds of dogs and cats just makes me so excited. I love the furniture. I love the rug. I love the, the, the whole environment here. It just looks all so awesome. Everybody looks adorable. <laughs> I'm loving it. One thing you will need to do if you own a vet clinic is watch your star rating, which this vet clinic, Pretty Paw Paw Clinic, has three stars out of a possible five with only two reviews, so it's really important that you give your customers a good experience, and I will cover a little bit more of that in just a second. But this is so cool. You know, you got the finances, you got the customer count, only six customers so far, service profits, got the business funds and perk points, just like the regular whole retail system from Get to Work, which I absolutely love that expansion pack. So I'm just, I'm just gonna love this. So you guys have to come back. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe because you have to come back. I'm gonna be having so many series going on with this, this pack, it's gonna be ridiculous. You're gonna be sick of me. <laughs> Here is a patient with icy fur, I think they called it. So I guess, I guess they're just really super cold. They just, their fur turned into ice, which is awful, but I think it's really cute how they turn blue. I think that's so cool because a lot of the time, I would assume you wouldn't be able to tell if your pet was ill, you know, without the moodlet. You know how there's the sim moodlets where they're like, oh, I don't feel good, uncomfortable, stuff like that. It's like, I was a little worried, like, will I be able to tell if my pet's sick? But these diseases kind of seem, like, really big. You got glow nose, you got ice fur. Those are very prominent things you can see. You got excessive drool, like, I will tell if there's green slime coming from my, my dog's mouth. And uh, you got the bugs. It's really nice. They, I'm sure they have another one or a few other ones. I don't know if that's all of them. But I think th this is really cool. Also, one thing I just noticed on that chair, there's scratches, like cat scratches. Totally a perfect, 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 perfect addition because that is something that would happen. So here is an example of what I was saying. You have to keep your customers happy. So customers have reviews. You have growth opportunities. So one thing they want you to improve are a few things here that they want you to improve on. So they want ambiance. They want a less wait time. They don't want to wait anymore, which I feel that. I feel that when I'm at the vet, I want in and out. I don't want to wait. <laughs> and then the excellence is for pet stress. So I guess that would mean that they they were they were cool with the animal. They kept the animal comfortable, stuff like that. I really, really, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Can it be November 10th, please? <laughs> For some reason, my screenshots seem to be a little bit fuzzy, but my goodness gracious, you guys, this, this, I'm not a pink and purple kind of person. I don't particularly like those, like, overloads of those colors, but I think this looks so good. I feel like, I'm sure they, they come in different colors, obviously, so if you did, like, a blue version of this, I think it would look so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I love the tile. I love the walls. I love them. 
I love the tables, how the tables can be different colors. I just, just take a look. Take it all in, guys. There's the feeders over there. There's like an automatic feeder. Um, oh my goodness. There's little, little rolly stands. There's, I guess that would be, that's like the station where you make the medicine and the treats and stuff. And then there's just counter space with lots of odds and ends on it. And I just think it looks so amazing. And I like, they, the, they, I like how you can add multiple tables to a room. I think that's cool in a way. I mean, obviously, I might, I would probably stick to one table per room, you know, because animals wouldn't want to be together. But, I mean, I really like this open area. I really think that's fun. And obviously, just like in the Get to Work expansion pack, you can yell at your employees. <laughs> For past experience, though, it is not easy to take care of your employees. So that's why I'm really, 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 really nervous. So... It could have just been me, but you know, when I had an employee and they would slack off and go yell at them, they'd just slack off again. It was that kind of thing. I don't know if they fixed it since then. I haven't really played too much with the retail system. I'm really, really hoping that this will be so much better. <laughs> Fingers crossed. But you can see she's she's teaching him like, do not slack off. You need to get on your game, boy. And I love the cat calendar in the back. Perfect. So right here is where you make special treats I guess is what they said and and medicines for surgery and stuff like that so this looks really really cool much like the in the doctor this has a very similarity it has it has has similarities to the doctor career from get to work stuff like that you know you could do all that fun stuff but I think this is gonna be so much better this is what your pet looks like when he comes out of surgery poor little fella looks like he's experienced something he's never experienced before he looks so scared and then in a little bit he ends up getting a little wobbly and woozy and I just think that's so cute. I just, I think this, oh, so I can't say, I count how many times I say I'm so excited in this video and write it in the comments. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this trailer reaction. You need to let me know how excited you are on a scale of 1 to 10. I am at a 50, easily. 50. All the way. Hands down. Could be 100. I don't know. <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below how excited you are for this expansion pack. November 10th is when it comes out. I have it pre-ordered. I'm so ready. You guys better subscribe because I will have so many series with cats and dogs and it's going to be so exciting. <laughs> but make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single day. Thank you guys again and I will see you next time. Bye!